This is the third in a series of short videos designed to help students, academics, and others more efficiently organize reading materials. If you haven't watched the first video in the series, which explains a process for capturing, organizing, and accessing PDFs using Zotero, Zotfile, and Google Backup in sync, please do so. Because this video builds on that approach to show how to handle PDFs that don't already have their own Zotero item, like those hundreds of unnamed PDFs that all of us have sitting in our downloads folder. Zotfile will, will rename the files for us and we'll make sure they're on the Google Drive folder we've created in sync to our computer using Google Backup and Sync. You may also want to watch the second video in this series, which demonstrates how to merge multiple PDFs into a single file, handy when you're downloading a book from JSTOR or another online database. Let's begin with the PDF I created in the last video. The procedures here turn out to vary between books on the one hand and journal articles on the other. For example, if we simply drop this merge PDF from JSTOR into the Zotero library. We can see that Zotero is going to create a new item and Zotfile is going to rename the PDF for us. However, a lot of the metadata has been missed. You can see these empty fields here. You can also see that the PDF has been misidentified as a journal article rather than as a book. My recommended solution is therefore to add the book to Zotero from a library catalog and then later attach the PDF. We'll go ahead and add it over here. This has two advantages. First, it makes sense in the research process to add books to Zotero as you come across them and then later go on and track down the PDFs. Second, as you'll see here, when we add the PDF to the existing Zotero item, That file is not only going to rename the PDF for us, but as you can tell from this little chain icon here, because we've selected our drive connected folders, the destination for Zotero downloads, that file will have already moved the PDF to that folder. So if we control click here, show file, there it is in the readings folder that I created in the first video. We run into the opposite problem with journal articles and adding them to Zotero in this way. So here's an article from the American Historical Review that I downloaded a couple years ago that's just been sitting uncatalogued on my hard drive. If I drop that PDF into Zotero, the item entry contains all the relevant metadata. But if I click to see the location of the PDF, it's in a folder that a subfolder that Zotero has created deep in my library, which doesn't do me a lot of good. Fortunately, the solution to this is extremely simple, thanks to Zotfile. Just control or right click on the PDF, go down to Manage Attachments, Rename Attachments, and there. You can see uh, the little chain icon. We saw the PDF pop up down here in our Drive Connected folder. And actually, if we go back and check, we don't have to remove the original file as well. Zotfile moved it and deleted the subfolder it had been in. Now this process works for batches of PDF. You can just drag and drop a bunch into Zotero at the same time. However, I'd recommend keeping that number to about 10 or so. More than that, it could become tough to figure out which PDFs didn't have identifiable metadata and weren't renamed. This tends to happen with working papers and the like. I hope this approach helps you keep better track of your research materials. Subscribe to my channel to check out my other research methods videos.